I am Zambian. I am Zimbabwean. I am Kenyan. I am Zimbabwean. I am Namibian. I am Zimbabwean. I, I am, am African. African. I think the, the one major stereotype I've heard is that uh, we're coming here to steal jobs and to drain the milk and honey of South Africa and leaving the people with nothing because we are coming here to take everything that they have, which is not necessarily true or necessarily false at the same time. Uh, I'd have to say being called out immediately for not being South African, but in a, way, in a manner that's not as though it's a bad thing, like, oh, you're not South African then it's a completely different interaction from then. That we don't know anything, <laughs> that we, when we come to South Africa, it's the first time we're seeing buildings and cars, yeah, people tend to think we're from the depth beyond Africa itself. You talk different, you have an accent, where you're from, you can't be South African, there's a lot. Um, they just look at you and they can tell you're different. So, I don't know where, what that is. I mean, guys, this is Africa, hey. Um, yeah. The only time I've possibly felt depressed, because I mean, I went to boarding school in South Africa, so I never really had, like, I was never exposed to any other um, environment. But the only time I have actually felt depressed was um, when I first came to South Africa at the border. Um, there's just this sense of, you are a foreigner or like you know you're in a different country because I mean the way you're treated there is is a lot different from the way you'd expect to be treated as a human being so essentially it was kind of really weird because it was like yo okay I'm in South Africa now and you know home affairs officials and the police are quite are quite rough on the edges so it was, it was, it was quite hard. Um, I was working back in PE during the holiday and then uh, some information came out that the Zimbabwean special permits would not be renewed and one of my, one of my work, workmates was like, yeah, the foreigners must go. Yeah. Um, people speak to me in Xhosa a lot and Zulu and before I ever learned anything in Xhosa, I, I, I mean, I couldn't understand anything people said so I felt very, like I felt like, like an outsider. I, it, they really emphasized my foreignness and I didn't like that, especially if my friends did it. Africa Month or International Week to me basically is a time in which um, we get to learn each other's cultures and essentially get a chance to like integrate and um, understand each other's backgrounds so as to like essentially better, better understand the social context we live in. Um, International Week it's actually a very important week to me because it almost um, allows me to share my culture and you know my my home ground with my friends. Well, it just means celebrating my culture and just participating in events that celebrate internationalism. And yeah, for me, it's more about my country than other countries. But it's great to learn about other countries as well. Uh, in first year, International Week used to mean a lot to me because all through high school we always had International Week where we'd engage, actively engage in other people's culture and diversity. But when I got here I realized that South Africans aren't really interested, it's more the international students who try to learn about other people's culture but not the South Africans themselves. So even if you try to engage and ask about other people's culture, they just show no interest. Dear South Africans, Dear South Africans. Dear South Africans. Dear South Africans. Dear South Africans. Dear South Africa. This is Africa. Apartheid ended in 1994. Let us not create another apartheid that is discrimination of blacks against blacks in 2017. Learn to accept and appreciate the other Africans within the continent. We should never let our borders define us. We should all come together as one. I am your sister and the rest of us foreigners are merely brothers and sisters. So please stop violence against foreigners, especially because South Africans also live in our countries and we are very kind to them. If you could just take a moment to get to know us better, that would be great. <laughs>